So I'm here with Ariel Burnett. She's a catcher and third baseman for Lower Columbia, who just won the uh, South Division title. And first question I have for you is, what has been kind of the key to success for both you and the team? Um, I think it's every day we come out here and we work hard. Our goal is to get better every day so we can play our best in May, which is now for NWAX. Um, yeah, just all of us, we want to be here and we want to win. And I think that's the difference between this year and last year. It's just everyone wants to be here and they want to compete and they want to get better. And we just, we have big goals and, yeah. And then for this season, you know, we have two games left before the tournament starts. What's been the most memorable part of this season for you? Um, playing Mount Hood for me because I hit a home run in both of the games at the doubleheader here and we lost the first one but we ended up winning the second one because of my home run and then I hit another one off them at their place too so that was cool. <laughs> and then you know talking about hitting home runs and at bats you know you have the ability to hit a home run but also go up there and bunt for a base hit you know back and forth however you feel that time. Yeah. How do you approach that bat and what kind of mindset do you have as you go um, into the box? Um, I want to get on every time, so <laughs> whatever gets me on is what I'll do. If she has me bunt, then I'll bunt. Then she hits a home run. Yeah, or I hit a home run, whatever. I just, I just want to get on, and I get really frustrated when I don't get on. <laughs> and then, you know, going from um, high school to college, it's a, it's a change of, of competition. What's the biggest adjustment you've had to make coming into to your college career? Um, I think... Having to switch positions, not having a solid position every day, you gotta be able to play wherever she wants you to play that day. So, that's the biggest. And then to make it to the college level, it takes people pushing you and encouraging you. Who's been your biggest inspiration and motivator? Um, I think my mom. Honestly, she she never pressured me to keep playing. She just knew that I had like a really great ability to play, and she knew that I wanted to keep playing, but she never pressured me and. Yeah. And then, you know, softball, like baseball, is a game of routine every day. You're doing the same thing. But some of it comes to become that superstition level. Is there any superstitions or routines that you have before each game or during a game? Yes. Um, I have a lucky sports bra. It's, um, it's all tie-dye, all colorful, and then lucky underwear, too. And I have to have coffee before the game or I won't do good. <laughs> <laughs> and last question I have for you. You know, a lot of girls come out and watch the LCC games. In fact, I have two younger daughters. You know, what advice do you have for that younger generation that wants to play at this level? Um, I would just say work hard, keep going at it, don't give up. I mean, there are a lot of times I wanted to give up, but I knew that I could keep going if I didn't give up. So. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>